It's about to go down. Yo, 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 it's your boy Bolo Bix, a.k.a. The Scale Crusher. Anyways, y'all, man, you know how, how you know I'm working hard? I'm driving and fucking lights on in the morning. Yeah, that's how you know I, I've been getting up early. So I get up early, knock out my shit, get, get everything done, and then I'm fucking up the food bus. Look at my Latins. What's up, y'all? Hardest worker over the wall, son. That's my peeps, so. though. Anyway, yo. Today's episode is brought to you by 7-Eleven. Yeah, home of the double gulp. Yeah. They're like, yo, Biggs. Why you always fill up your cup with so much ice? Man, because I'm a cool-ass cat. I like my drinks cold. Anyways... Gotta knock some shit out, man. Fucking around with all this goddamn rain shit. Look, I got rain on my damn windshield. Gotta get some shit done, man. Winter's coming. Winter's coming! I ain't trying to fuck with no uh, dragons in the middle of my fucking winter. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my boy Jon Snow. Yo, all right, all right. Yo, real quick, shout out to my man, Jimi Hendrix. America. All right, man, I'm tired of fucking with these lights. Go ahead and knock it out real quick. I put the, all the necessary um, preparations on them. I got the lens back on together. This was the foam that I was talking about. Put it on the back. I think it's a 5 8 um, thickness. So it's basically just going to go on and it's going to hug the van, I mean the bus. Um, not sure why they had it on the actual bus because that was a pain in the ass to take off but if you have it on here it's easier to just every time you take the lens off to uh to to play with it um your adhesive stays on that so yeah pretty simple i'm gonna just show you the before and after so that's what boys look like right now i'm feeling that now obviously orange whoa looks good Hey y'all, finally done with the lights. I'm gonna turn it on. Of course, I'm done and it's starting to sprinkle. What are you trying to tell me? It's been raining like every fucking day. I have the pleasure of taking the tape off my shit and obviously it leaves behind residue, but it's a little ch cheap trick. So, this is the residue that's left behind. Um, you can actually use your tape a fresh piece and take off that residue so all you do is just rub it in and it will actually take off the residue um, I don't like using the chemicals because all it does is spread it so a little trick yeah so I stayed at the Motel 6 last night that's why I'm giving y'all that tip that's what's up I guess I, I guess I should have told you why I was taking those uh, the tape off of the top where my hazards, where my flashers used to be. My buddy is picking up my disc. Um, I got him to cut eight of them for me. The four up front and the four in the back, the flashers to cover up the holes. Um, I actually just used my ceiling um, that was on that was inside the bus. I'm hiding behind because there's a chopper coming over. Um, I actually just used um, my ceiling that was in the bus that I took out. I love it because it's strong, nice, heavy gauge. Um, I couldn't even guess what gauge it is. But um, once I tack it in with the rivets and the sealant, I don't, I don't think I'll ever have to address it again. Um, maybe down a few years down the road, I, I can just re the outside, just the trim. But yeah, um, it's strong. That's why I went with it. I went ahead and taped off my windows. Um, this is painter's tape for exterior. It's not the flat paper one. It's more of a, uh, it's plastic almost. Um, better material. But I love it because it's easy to take off. I used it on my van when I did painting on that. I left it on for months and still easy to take off. But it does hold. 
Uh, the reason why I wanted to do that was uh, I noticed that my windows were getting kind of scratched up and uh, over sprays and things like that. So I'm not going to paint it for for a while. So, but I also wanted to drive around with um, drive the bus around, um, but I didn't want it to be uh, nice bright blue. So I went ahead and over tape beyond the windows um, just to catch a seam, and I went around it with my thumb, my nails. Um, to push where I'm gonna cut and then I over sprayed it. So once I peel off the outside layer um, You're just gonna see like a black window um, looks much better than driving around with blue um, Again exterior um, it's made by scotch blue. I don't know what the fuck that is But um great material man. I recommend it highly shout out to Home Depot And ow That's what it looks like so I'll peel that off and it'll just leave behind the black windows. Okie dokie pokey. While I wait for my buddy to get back with those uh, eight discs, um, let me show you what I've accomplished. <laughs> Not much really. Um, straighten out my door. I don't even need to show you guys that. All you do is loosen up the bolts, shift it back in place, uh, have somebody hold it while you tighten the bolts and uh, screws and such. Um, I took the tape off the top there uh, because my buddy's coming back with a disc. Uh, hopefully it won't rain in the meantime. Blacked out my windows, but I did it with tape. Um, with tape, this tape here that I showed you guys earlier. Um, blacked it out after the tape and then I just trimmed around it so it looks nice. So now I can drive around looking for soccer moms. No, not really. I just... When I go grocery shopping, I can pack a lot more shit in there, so fat life. Um, yeah, man, that's all I got right now. God, I hope he gets back in time because I really want to fucking finish this and move on to the next task. Um, this shit is just taking up too much time, and I thank you guys for being patient with me. I forgot to almost show you guys these dope-ass lights. Check it out. These are the flashing lens that were up top. I freaking love them because they have the, the, the halo-looking shit going on. And these were the lens up top for the brakes. I'm sorry, for the flashers, and I used them for my brake lights. But I am very pleased with how they turned out. Uh, if y'all recall, these, this, these holes were um, from my stop sign. I'm just now addressing it just because I finally found some rivets uh, big enough for those holes. Took the tape off, got my uh, Roby. Shout out to Roby, they're the sponsor today sponsoring this episode and uh, I got I think I got 60 grade or 40 grade um, but it is for metal uh, and all I'm gonna do there is just smooth that down I was gonna grind it but I don't want to fuck up my shit um, one important thing real quick my real quicks when you're holding this when you're grinding it back and forth um, your hand will sometimes slide all the way down here because it's a better grip don't do that you're covering up the vents. You're going to make that shit heat up even faster. And you're going to burn that shit out. Fat thing. I've uh, sanded that down with metal sandpaper. And uh, gotten it smooth. Much better than what I did over here. But obviously this is for camera. So I got to make my shit look good. Um, it's nice and clean. I've already uh, wiped it off. All I did here was just sand it down nice and smooth. Um, again, I'm not filling this one in. I just took it off so I can address the small one. This one I'm just going to cut bigger. And this is where my short power is actually going to come in. I figured, why not? The hole's already there. I'll just make it a little bit bigger. Um, I'll go ahead and knock these out with the rivets. This is the rivet that I'm using. Um, it is 1 8 um, grip range. And then the diameter uh, for the whole thing is 3 16th. So what I'm going to do is put some uh, sealing on that, put it in, um, and then I'm, what it does is this little gun here is going to tap into it. You see here? It's also got different sizes that you can change out by the different sizes of the rivet. You put it on, you pump it, and what it does, what it does is it pulls this little nail head thing it pulls it through once it can no longer come through it pops it 
and it leaves it behind the rivet. I put some uh, silicone sealant, weatherproofing for windows and such on uh, the rivet, just to give it some uh, a little bit of a, a seal and waterproofing. Because even though this is not metal, um, aluminum will corrode versus rust. Um, the reason why it's pushing back at me is because the interior um, insulation is pushing back. I need to pull that out. But what you do is you stick the, the gun on there and you pump it. So fasten it all the way, give it a little bit of pressure and start pumping. Oh yeah, that's nice and fucking scratched up. But yeah, then we'll put a dab a little bit of sealing in that. Just a little bit to get into that little hole there. They are everywhere that um, that I did them. See, this part here is what gets gripped to by the gun, um, and then it pulls you through. I'm a hustler, baby. I just want you to know. I'm not that douchebag. I picked up after myself. I want to show y'all a little something funny. This here, I kid you not, are all the screws that I've taken off the bus so far. Um, any metal pieces that I cut that are uh, are sharp, I just throw in here. But they're mostly screws and, and bolts. We did earlier. Um, they were holding in just some bike-like reflectors. And this one here I did earlier. These four were actually holding in the Thomas Built sign. Um, I, I didn't like it, so I took it off. But yeah, they look pretty good. And it's solid. Uh, trust me when I tell you it's solid. The thing I want to show you on these rivets, um, since uh, since my wall is open, I'm just going to go ahead and go behind here. This is the back of what the rivet looks like once you're done. I'm just going to dab it. Um, I don't want any moisture or anything to get in. Like I said, even though rivets, aluminum doesn't rust, it does corrode. I know you guys are tired of me saying that. Um... But yeah, this is just to address any issues down the road. And if you recall on my other episodes, I said I was going to dab all my screws. Um, but that's pretty much what I'm going to do. This is overkill. Excuse me, this is overkill. But I need to get rid of um, I need to get rid of this glob anyway. Um, so I'm just going to hit these screws. I'm gonna do a better job of protecting it since the factory, since Thomas, Mr. Built, didn't want to address shit like this. I am going to. Hope you guys have a better understanding of how rivets work. Um, I prefer them because they're they're strong. They're really really strong, and um, I prefer the aluminum ones over the metal ones. The metal ones rust. The aluminum ones will eventually corrode. If you don't protect them well but the reason why i like the aluminum ones is because they're easy to work with they're cheap um now i'm not using them to fasten anything else to it i'm just using it to fill in the holes so there's no reason um that these aluminum ones won't work um but i hope you guys have a better understanding of that and maybe you'll use it on your projects so no. it's just about to go down son I don't know why I'm walking like this, but I'm about to fuck this shit up. The full bus. F-O-B. U-S. Y'all hear that music? I don't always listen to country, son. What y'all know about that thug life? I don't know shit about that. I listen to fucking country. I cry when river dance comes on. People be like, yo, bitch, where you keeping your cooler? Come see where I got my cooler. Big. Think I got a little homie. I'm a, I'm a fucking thug, son. I drink swat. Uh, it's hot out here and I'm, I'm not trying to 
fucking fall out and shit, you know, uh, fat boy struggles, dude. But let me get it in. Okay, guys. You're part one and what I'm up to. About 248. <laughs> but seriously, um, I'm working on my bumper. Um, it's got two coats of uh, paint. First is the yellow bus, and then they painted it black. So I'm just actually using my grinder. Um, but I'm using a, I think it's a 50 grit for metal. Um, just so I can get off the, f the the first two layers. I've started it already. I realized I wasn't recording. But um, it's coming off pretty easily. Um, let me see if I can show you with um, one hand. Wish me luck. All right, wish me luck. But if you use that technique, don't blame me for fucking up your shit. You gotta move really fast with that, uh, with the grinder and uh, and that um, particular 50 grit. Otherwise, you're gonna ruin some uh, metal. Go fast, um, concentrate. Um, yeah, just just go fast. That way, you get a nice, smooth, um, smooth, even. A smooth even um strip so wish me luck yep yep it's coming along get the first layer two off uh and then i will uh go with a more fine grit to give it a smoother i don't need to worry about the look just want it smooth then i'm gonna prime it when it's too hot to work during the day but you don't have enough light in the evening still at it I'm determined now get this shit fucking done I I'm done I'm tired and it's dark um, I will wipe that down hopefully it doesn't bust up with any rain or anything um, but yeah I went ahead and knocked that out that shit look kinda dope with all chromed up and shit anyways Oh, what is on my neck? Alright guys, that's a wrap man, I'm tired. I was waiting for my boy, my buddy, my bro Ham. Uh, he's gonna meet me in the morning to bring me those damn discs that I keep talking about. It's like a fucking urban legend. You hear about it, but you just don't see it. Um, finish my bumper. I don't have time to wipe it down and um, Shit, what the hell was I talking about? Oh, I don't have time to uh, prime it. Uh, my cooler, son. Uh, I'm going to get out of here. Um, I'll go ahead and post all this shit. I'll, otherwise, it's going to be like a fucking 23-hour video, which is like a minute shorter than most of my damn long videos. But y'all be good. Have a great Friday night. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm going to work all weekend, man. Try and play some catch-up. Again, sorry my shit's all over the place. Not sorry. Um, be good. I'll see y'all on the flip side. Your boy's out.